this is the tool I've been kind of designing and working on so I can measure dovetail cutters quicker and easier while I'm milling. And uh, I have a dovetail cutter set up in the fixture. And I've leveled this out to less than a thousandths, uh, more, closer to a half a thousandths or less. Uh, so it's basically just how it'd be milled. But this is a demo. So what I did is I took a 24 inch Starrett height gauge and I've turned this over and I've mounted a, a block that I machined and it's mounted with set screws and I've mounted the, the dial indicator on here. Now this dial indicator uh, in my previous video where I tested a bunch, this is a new, I, one I bought off of eBay recently that's not in that video, but this is an exceptionally good uh, one. This is right on the money uh, within one thousandth or less uh, through the whole inch of travel. So th it, this one is exceptionally good. This is a federal uh, one inch, one thousandth style indicator. Uh, I'm amazed how good this one is. But anyway, so we have it, uh, like I said, this is upside down. Also, I've cut this off at 12 inches. I might even cut this shorter. So what? this is my plan. Uh, oh, the, the running gear here uh, on the indicator, I took off that other indicator I showed in the other video uh, and mounted it on here. That's all, so I can operate this easily. So here's the plan. I'll set this. Oops. I'll set this at zero on the highest point of the gauge. Like so. Oops. And I can just dial it. It gives me a fine adjustment here. And I'll, I'll dial it in to zero. I'll read the vernier. Calculate the, the mill depth. Now in this case, I'm just going to calculate half the depth because that's where the cutting edge should be, right at center line. And so we're going to measure that. Anyway, I would calculate the mill depth and for the zero point, right? We'll calculate that and subtract it from our reading on the vernier, reset the vernier to that depth. And then when I go back in, this will read zero or it'll tell me the error, how far off I am, how much I need to finish my milling. I usually only have to measure it a couple times, two times at least, during the project. Uh, but sometimes I might have to measure it uh, once or other time in there. So this, is, this needs to be handy and easy to use. So we'll just kind of run through it here. So we'll just go over here to, the, to our uh, top of the cutter. And find the highest point. Now the tip on this is not flat. It's just a very slight radius on this tip. So it, it makes it pretty easy to find the high point. It only takes a few seconds here to do that. And what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this. Uh, my plan is to set this at uh, 6.30 before I even measure. That way I always have a starting point. And it makes it makes it makes it a little easier to do. Anyway, I'll, I'll just set it at 6.30, at least for the big ones. That's gonna be the number. Find the high point. And I've already set it, so it, there's the high point. It is it's at zero because I've already set it, just to speed things up. So that's at zero. Then we'll bring it down. Then we'll reset it. So six one six is the radius of this cutter. So we'll reset the vernier to uh, five six eighty four. 
Okay, we reset that to 5684, and we go in here and measure our indicator, and that's it. there we go, right, right exactly on zero, which is a sweet deal. When I make them, I shoot for one thousandths. Uh, and I, I usually get within one thousand uh, without a problem. It's so that's uh, I'm real happy there. So it came out good. <laughs> anyway, that's how I'm going to use this, and it makes it pretty easy to use uh, for each one. It only takes so a few minutes. To came out it. real good, and uh, this is what. So I made this, you know, for and I this specific purpose. Uh, people complained I was going to cut the stand off, but these are thirty to forty dollars on eBay. These stands. This one had parts missing, didn't have a pointer or anything, but it was in, in good shape uh, as far as all the finish goes. There's a couple of little uh, failures of rust on here, but you know, it, it was in good shape. I've cleaned up all the rusty parts, and uh, but I wanted it because it moves up and down straight. I can mount everything pretty darn square here. This is really pretty good and uh, so my one inch of travel I'm still accurate and uh, that's what I wanted and it's easy to use it's not too heavy that other rig I was using was real heavy and uh, but this is big enough base it evens out any any um, out, you know anything that's out on the table and stuff so uh, anyway this work this is uh, gonna work really good thanks you guys thanks for watching